my purse, Mr. Skeleton. Hopefully that's not too much weight on your legs. We don't want to lose a leg and your arms at the same time. That's all right. Put on some perfume, which by the way, thank you Scentbird for sponsoring this video. I'll get into that here in a bit. I'm gonna try this new perfume. Smelling delicious. All right, here, Mr. Skeleton, you want some? Oh, okay, sir. <laughs> Don't know if you get quite the aroma on plastic. <laughs> okay, wait. Got my beverage, let's open it because it always explodes everywhere. It's blue raspberry today, everybody. Blue freaking raspberry. Oh, wait, do we have a package out front that I was supposed to get? We're already, we're already spiraling. <laughs> Lord, are my keys even in here? Yeah, but it didn't beep at me. Weird. Okay. Okay, it's not as freaking hot today. So I don't know if we're gonna see Moni Myrtle today or Miserable Marie or, but it's 80 degrees today. Feels like a nice cool day in comparison to 110. Oh God, okay, let's not spill this everywhere. Booger in my nose. What? Oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys, look at this. Can you see it? It's like dangling out, everybody. It was flapping in the wind thanks to the air conditioning. Oh my gosh. That was embarrassing. But we're going to put it on the internet because <laughs> that's who we are. We got our Amazon package, we got our key, garage is shut, Mr. Skeleton is buckled in, and our boogers are picked, and we are ready to go. Hey everyone, it is another day, Halloween decor hunting, with me and good old Mr. Skeleton. We're off on another Halloween hunting adventure today. I am excited. We're going to the usual suspect, which is... At home, of course. We're stalking at home until we see the full shebang. And they're being really slow. So we've seen minimal Halloweenage at at home in my area, even though I feel like everyone and their literal mom is seeing full blown Halloween at at home. That's just not what's happening with us out here. And that bums me out. Hold on, Mr. Skeleton. Hold on to your bones, sir. Oh, railroad tracks. Here we go. Woo! Then we're gonna cruise over to Home Goods. <laughs> Why can't we say anything normal? <laughs> and we're gonna see if Home Goods has anything out. And I think that's it for today. But sorry, I'm, I'm self conscious about that booger, everybody. Now I think I have them everywhere. Right now, though, we're cruising to at home to see if they have any Halloween out, any new stuff that we haven't seen yet. More than just a little, little tiny itty bitty piece of an aisle <laughs> that they had some candles on. We're gonna go take a little gander. Before we pull up though, I wanted to mention the sponsor for today's video, which is Scentbird. And if you haven't heard me jab my jaws about, oh my gosh, I always hit that curb. Every single time I just bump it, every time. Anyways, if you haven't heard me jab my jaws about Scentbird before because I'm so obsessed with it, talk about it all the time on my channel, and I just sprayed myself with some nice, new, refreshing perfume from Scentbird uh, before we left. If you haven't heard of Scentbird before, Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service that allows you to try a different designer fragrance every single month for just $17. And Scentbird has over 600 different brands to choose from, anything from Gucci to Prada to indie labels like Confessions of a Rebel, which is my personal favorite because I found Confessions of a Rebel through Scentbird and my favorite scent ever, which is Get a Room, just one that I I wear basically every day but I also like switching up my scents for different seasons or if you're looking for a new scent Scentbird is great for that as well because you don't have to commit to a full-size bottle also my favorite thing about Scentbird is how easy it is to travel with so it has this protective case over the fragrance you just open up the case and then inside is your fragrance and you can see your generous 30-day supply in there from there you can just twist the top and then you're ready to spray and then you can lock it back up throw it in your purse throw it in your luggage super easy to travel with which i love because i always forget to put on my perfume and i'm running out the door and this month from Scentbird, i tried a few new fragrances first one and the one i'm wearing right now it's from glass house fragrances and it's called kyoto in bloom the notes are pineapple citrus, camellia, sandalwood, and vanilla, and it's perfect for summer. Love the pineapple. And the second one I tried is from The Harmonist. It's called Moon Glory, which I love the name. And the notes are Lang Lang, Hawaiian Jasmine, Organic Honey, Hinoki Wood, and White Musk. 
And the next one I tried is from Foop and it's called 3910. And the notes on this are saffron, rose, sandalwood, and cashmere fusion. And then the last one I tried is from the brand Ex Nihilo and it's called Fleur Narcotique. And the notes on this one, bergamot, peony, transparent wood, and musk. Anyways, if you're looking for a new fragrance to try for summer or maybe while you're out Halloween decor hunting, definitely check out Scentbird. I'll have a link down in the description box for you. I'll also have a QR code right here that you can scan and use my code JTLibra3 and you can get 55% off your first month with Scentbird. That's only about $8 for your first month, which is a steal of a deal. So definitely check out Scentbird if you're wanting to try a new fragrance. So anyways, we're here at, at home. We're going in to see if they have any new Halloween stuff. Here we go, Mr. Skeleton. You hold down the fort in here. We're going in. There's a dog in a stroller, y'all. A dog in a stroller. We saw some more Halloween, everybody. Um, they had a whole half aisle completely filled this time. And this kind of middle of the store area that was just getting started. There wasn't a whole lot in that little area. But let's start down the aisle because there were a couple more things we saw this time. They added some stuff to all the different lines we saw. So let's start with the kitty line, the kind of cutesy line. They have this kind of open mouth Dracula lantern kind of thing that flickers and they had a cat one and they had a ghosty lantern that had little star and moon cutouts in the body of the ghost had a witch riding on a lollipop which is something new um, and then they also had some new pieces out from their witchy collection they have this really cute black cat with a kind of a witchy or wizard hat i'm not sure which one it was i think a witch hat with a cape and then they also had a little version that was like a little cat with a little witchy hat a little orange witchy hat and then they also had some other pieces that they had put out some newer pieces like they had some witchy boots that were really cute i'm like i want those i feel like they have these every year i actually want them as a real shoe but they also had witchy boots on top of books a snow globe I don't know if this was part of the witchy line or the eerie estate line where there's also this little mushroom thing that had an eyeball on it kind of a ghoulish garden vibe it had a candelabra that had skulls all over it and what else do they have in this little area they had a they had a toad there and also had a new line this year that i'm all excited about called eerie what was it called eerie estate that's what it's called so cool i'm so excited to see the full collection of this because the piece they had was really cool it was this kind of it almost looked like a vanity mirror or something or a frame or i don't, I don't know kind of reminded me of the haunted mansion to be honest with you uh, but it was this kind of it looks like a mirror with this woman coming out of it like this kind of ghoulish woman coming out of the mirror and kind of reaching out it's really cool I want to see the whole line. So excited once again to see the entire collection. And uh, they also had, I'm not sure if this was part of that line, but they had a typewriter with these little mice all over it, like kind of crawling over it. And uh, I want to say also in this line over, and they had this kind of middle of the store section that had some things that I want to say was probably part of that eerie estate because it had a similar Victorian vibe. They had some pumpkins with kind of, um, what do you call those? Cameos. I, I always forget that word every single year. Cameos on the front. So they had kind of this top hat guy cameo looking thing, like a skeleton look. And then this uh, really pretty lady skeleton <laughs> on the pumpkin. And they had, they have another one that was kind of, it was another pumpkin that kind of had that Victorian look to it. And I think it had a skull on it. There was some Halloween hoedown that they had out. And they had some skeleton little figurine guys doing various Halloween hoedown things, I guess. <laughs> they had one that was riding a skeleton horse. A dude in a bathtub and a dude drinking from a barrel. So that's, I think, all I saw. Anything else I'm missing, I'll show. Oh, wait, no, no, I know what I'm missing. They had some of those glass skull little bottle things that we see every year. They had black. They had this kind of iridescent color. 
and they had purple. And then also in the kind of middle of the store section, they had some tombstones that were really cool. One of them kind of lit up and had different colors and everything and a skull in the center. And then the other one was really cool, had, I said RAP on it and had a little stack of skulls. And was there a spider on it? There was something else on it. And then they also had some new candles out. They had these gold skull candles out, like this like little stacked skulls everywhere and it was a bleeding candle. And then they also had this LED candle I'm so excited about that had these kind of, it looked like the old kind of wood engravings with these witches all around the candle. And it was really cool. I'm really excited about that. Uh, and something new this year. So now we're almost to Home Goods. I've been there several times and saw nothing. Okay, no, Dallas and I did see one single thing when we went last week and I didn't even film it. Well, I think Dallas filmed it. I'll show what it is here. It was some weird thing. I don't even know what it is. It's got these like dangly, it's like a, is it a broom? And then it has things dangling from the broom. I don't know if it's a tabletop decor piece. I don't know what kind of function it serves. Like I'm very confused by the whole thing. It was kind of wooden, rustic looking. That was the only piece of Halloween we saw. I do not stop. So you are just, oh my gosh, people don't know how to drive. We're going in Mr. Skeleton. Here we go. Let's see what they got. Let's see if you got any goods, home goods. We saw the spooky goods at Home Goods, y'all. We saw it. We also got some goods. We got some spooky goods. And we got ourselves a Coca Cola Classic with cherry. So I guess it's not a Coca Cola Classic, it's just a cherry Coke. <laughs> We're hoping it doesn't explode all over us, Mr. Skeleton. This was probably $500, but it's our reward for getting out in the heat today, Mr. Skeleton. It's 82, not so bad. We should have gotten a Baja Blast, but what can you do? First and foremost, we saw Spooky Family. I feel like this Home Goods, I feel like I see a good amount of Spooky Family here every year. And I get so excited to meet y'all. And we met Jessica today. Jessica, if you're out there, it was so nice meeting you. I apologize in advance for jabbing my jaws and talking your ear off. I feel like I tend to do that. And so if you bump into me out in the wild, <laughs> prepare your ears y'all <laughs> prepare your ears because I feel like I just nerd out about Halloween because I look for anyone and everyone who is equally obsessed I mean I talked to my husband about it and then there's also the Halloween forever Facebook group that we all chat on that's our little uh Halloween group on Facebook which I'll have linked in the description box if you're looking for it I mean like in person do you guys have anyone that you just totally jab your jaws about Halloween with? Like, nerd out? Like, have you been to this store? Have you been to that store? What have you seen out there? You know, like, it's just this, like, I don't know. It's like a special club we're in. And I finally get to talk about all the secrets or what. I don't know. Like, a secret society or I don't know what it is. I just feel like I end up nerding out and talking your ear off whenever I meet you guys. So Jessica, it was so nice to meet you and chat with you. They did have some Halloween out. They had some really cool pieces and some repeats this year. So we saw, what do we see? Some really cool kind of serveware stuff. Some spooky kitchen kind of stuff of like dark and spooky serveware kind of stuff. Like a big bowl that had a hand, like a skeleton looking hand or just a spooky looking hand holding onto the bowl. They also had a really pretty plate that I almost missed. Actually, Jessica pointed it out. It's really cool glass plate with a spider stand. And it was really pretty, really well made, high quality. Like this, the spider was metal. They also had some tiered trays with one had like a bone, like a hand that went all the way through and then the hand is at the top. And then the other one had skulls, like stacked skulls between the tiers. And then what else did we see? Uh, we saw some more of those candelabras that I, I, I may or may not have snagged one. I'll do a haul, don't worry. We'll have a whole, oh my gosh, loudest truck ever. They had some of those Martha Stewart, the Martha Stewart goth is back everybody. Uh, but the Martha Stewart candelabras with the skulls and they had a purple one and they had a black one and I snagged one a couple years ago, a black one, and they only had one, I think. Did I accidentally just get three? Maybe. 
Um, they also had this really cool wooden pumpkin person. It was like a pumpkin person with a witch hat on. It had a really cool vibe to it because it was natural wood. I really loved it. It kind of looked old school, folky, but it also kind of looks like a butt plug. I don't really know <laughs> what I was looking at, but I liked it. Why did I like it? Probably because it looks like a butt plug. Okay, anyways, that's besides the point. They also had a tablecloth with skeleton hands on it. It's like a gray tablecloth. They had a kind of a fishnet looking tablecloth with bats on it. They had uh, some little espresso mugs with various little characters like little Dracula and little ghosty and witch and things like that. Oh, you know what I did see too? That is kind of all the rage over on the Facebook group. And I thought I wanted it and then I saw it in person and I I wasn't as impressed with it in person. Maybe I'll regret it, but uh, it was this really cool tree candelabra. So it looks like a spooky tree with this face. And then it has these kind of spooky branches coming out. And then you put candles in that. It's kind of the spooky candelabra thing. And that was really cool. It was silver. Kind of, it totally goes with my entire aesthetic. So I should probably, I don't know. I feel like maybe I'm going to regret not getting a lot of these pieces. They also had a bunch of towels. They had some kitchen looking towels. One that said boo. One that said something about a haunted home and had a spooky house on it. They had one that said you're my boo, I think. And had two skeletons on it holding hands or I don't know what they were doing. Anyways, a bunch of kitchen towels and then they had a couple bathroom towels as well that we saw last year they had a purple bat one a jack-o-lantern one they had a couple other ones i think there was a spider web one uh but a couple of bathroom towels there and didn't see any pillows nothing like that just a bunch of like uh like little i don't know just little spooky things on these little spooky end caps they had some skulls some really intricate looking skulls they had a pumpkin with a bat like a carving I don't know it was like a pumpkin with a carved like a carved out bat I think like with like a hole in it in the shape of a bat I don't know what I'm talking about um and oh they had the cauldrons that are hanging on there it's like a little party wear thing where the cauldrons are hanging from a little metal thing uh, anything else I'm missing I'll show here but those are the things that mainly stood out to me anyways I feel like that was a successful day Halloween decor hunting. We saw some stuff at, at home. We saw some stuff at home goods. They had the spooky goods. They're getting started. I mean, it wasn't a huge selection, which makes me happy because it means we didn't miss out on too much. And uh, we're going to continue to check into home goods every day. <laughs> you know us. That is it for the day. We're wrapping up. We're going home and we'll see you back out on the hunt. So we'll see you when we see you. Get in, sir. Hold on to your legs. Okay, stay here. Oh. Woo! Mr. Skeleton, it's sticky out. It's not even that hot, just sticky. Felt like October inside, everybody. <sighs> Could freaking open this thing. Oh! God. Let me call Dallas and make sure he's okay. When I was walking out the door, he was saying how Lucian was pooping his pants, so we're going to make sure he survived it. Did you survive the poopy pants? Well, he didn't poop on you? No. All right. Well, you're shook, dude. I want to put you in your snoo, but you're just, he's in his side. Snuggle him for a little while. He's only little, this little for so long. But I got to get going. Where's she? I can't see. Oh, now I can. Oh, he's so cute. Look at him. Oh my god, he's so cute. Hi, Lucian. Is it... <laughs> Is it mom? It, he looks so concerned. He's falling asleep. Okay, be a good boy. Mama will be right home. He's looking at you. I love you. I love you so much, bud. You tired? Yeah, sorry, okay. Have a good nap. I love you. When you wake up, I'll be home. Okay, love you. Right, I'll talk to you okay, love you, babe. Well, love you too. All right, bye. All right, we're finally off. I'm obsessed with my child, everybody. <laughs> that person.
Hey everyone, it is another day Halloween decor hunting with me and good old Mr. Skeleton. Sir, are you excited? I'm excited. Uh, we're cruising. Wait, hold on. We got the railroad tracks. Hold on, Mr. Skeleton. Gotta get my arm out. Oh God, my mom arm. Right now we're running to the post office to drop off some shirts, which can only mean one thing. That means we're once again stocking at home. <laughs> Might as well move into at home at this point. We've been there so much. Which, by the way, they're gonna see us coming today. They're gonna know we're looking for Halloween. We look like full on Beetlejuice today. Come on, everyone is driving so freaking slow today. It's not like we have anywhere to go or Halloween to see. All right, we're now leaving the post office and I have this freaking song stuck in my head, y'all. <laughs> Let me just put it out there. Dallas and I have been watching the Cheaters channel on uh, on Pluto TV, if you know Pluto TV. But there's a Cheaters channel where they just play the show Cheaters on repeat all day long. <laughs> and the theme song to Cheaters gets me every time. Like after the show is over, they play this whole, cheating is a crime, but it happens every day. <laughs> it's like if a Pearl Jam cover band sang the theme song to Cheaters, <laughs> where there's just like all this emphasis of like, treating is a crime, oh, but it happens every day. Anyway, so Dallas and I changed the words so Neens, if it was, <laughs> if Neens was singing it, which if you're new here, Neens is our 17 year old Chihuahua. So if you also make up songs, for your animals let me know down in the comments but we definitely do we like to change the lyrics to fit our animals well bailey is now passed on he's over the rainbow bridge but we still make songs with his name in it because we're still obsessed the theme song for neens we just changed cheating to cuddling or tuddling is what we call it so tuddling is a crime but it happens every day <laughs> Anyways, you knew we'd get weird eventually around here because that's just who we are, Mr. Skeleton. So we're cruising now to at home. We went to the post office. That was pretty uneventful. And now we're going to at home. And then why why is everyone and their mom pulling out in front of me right now? Like, I don't understand. Ooh, there's Taco Bell. Oh, I want a Baja Blast. But we're over in the wrong lane to get a Baja Blast. So we'll just... We won't cause any wrecks today, Mr. Skeleton. Not today. That's a different day. Anyways, we might go to Home Goods, the same Home Goods we were at the other day. It's kind of like we're kind of watching a bunch of places right now. So there's not a whole lot out yet. I mean, there's more than usual out, but there's not a whole lot yet. Like we're still waiting on Michael's. Joann's in my area has nothing. So if you're down in the comments like, cool, go to Joann's. Okay, well, none of the places in my area, none of the Joann's has anything Halloween, nothing. So I don't know what's going on. The closest place that has Halloween is like an hour away, which we will drive, but I just don't understand. So in the meantime, we're just gonna stalk all the places that actually have Halloween. So we're just waiting impatiently, Mr. Skeleton, for more Halloween. Oh my gosh, no one can drive today. This is why I don't really like going out on Fridays. I feel like the traffic is horrible. Everywhere is so damn peopley. I don't wanna see it. We're tired of people by the time it's Friday. <laughs> Should we park here? Cheating is a crime. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Skeleton. All right, we're here at, at home. I'm ready to buy something. We're going in. We're going in. Oh, they're getting ready for us, y'all. They're getting ready for us. My armpits, Mr. Skeleton, are sweating. Pump up the jam. Oh, I need AC. Um, so... Here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's talk about it. They didn't have a lot of new stuff, 
but they were starting to organize all the stuff we had seen before that was just in one aisle. They're starting to put together the multiple aisles and all the different collections and organizing them. So that's the exciting news. But we did see a couple of new things. A couple of new things, Mr. Skeleton. I'm like, I'm a little, little, little. I can't even speak. I'm that excited. So they had uh, some dishware. Saw some beginnings of some dishware. They had uh, one thing that was like a chip and dip bowl, I think, is what it was. Really pretty, kind of Victorian looking. I think they're going for this uh, kind of, I don't know, Victorian looking aesthetic. And they had a, a, like a drink dispenser thing, like a party punch drinks dispenser kind of thing. And it was Ty Pennington. So I guess there's gonna be a an at-home Ty Pennington Halloween collection. And so it looks like it's this was like skull and crossbones. So I don't know if it's gonna be a pirate theme or just skull themed or I don't I don't really know. But that's what I saw. And then they had that person ran that light. Uh they had oh my god, what who's honking where? Then they had this kind of classic Halloween collection that they were setting up. They had the huge pumpkins or the huge jack-o'-lanterns that they have every year. They were lined up on the bottom shelf. Then they had this really cool blow mold that I'm all excited about. I was so excited when I first saw it over on the Facebook group, which by the way, the Facebook group will be linked down in the description box. But um, it was this black cat on top of a jack-o'-lantern, little blow mold looking thing. And it's kind of vintage looking, love it. It's like a whole scaredy cat vibe, love everything about it. And I think that's all they had. Oh no, they had a zero. It's like a zero figurine thing that lit up. And I almost thought about getting it for Lucian. Maybe I should have. We'll go back, we'll go back. Anyways, we're gonna be stocking at home even more now because maybe we're gonna have to stock them over the weekend because they're starting to get stuff out. Stocking is a crime of what we stock Halloween every day, <laughs> Mr. Skeleton. We're gonna cruise over to Home Goods, and uh, then we're gonna cruise over really quick to Cracker Barrel. I'm not sure if mine even has it out yet, like has Halloween out. I guess we could have called, but we're that's that's part of the fun of the hunt. Everybody is going and looking, and sometimes we fail, and then we keep going. We get back on the horse, right, Mr. Skeleton? <laughs> feels like tornado weather honestly like it is sticky and icky it's not quite tornado weather it's more thunderstorm weather because the tornado weather is just a different vibe it's like um usually it's nice and sunny out and then there's this random huge wall cloud coming in and it smells like something like it smells like the earth or something i don't know it smells different today it's just hot and sticky and there's a bunch of clouds everywhere so it looks like it's just gonna downpour is kind of what it looks like around here right now. Uh, but the tornado weather, there's nothing like it. If you know, you know. Anyways, we're cruising now, we're almost to Home Goods. Actually, the stores aren't nearly as bad as I thought they'd be today. Not gonna lie. Here we are. We have parked. We have arrived at Home Goods. We're going in. Here we go, Mr. Skeleton. We're gonna see if they have the spooky goods. There we are. At Home Goods. We saw none of. None. <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> no new things. That's what I was going to say. We didn't see anything new. I'm not mad at it because at least there was still some Halloween, just nothing new. So we didn't miss anything, but didn't see anything. I feel lucky to see any Halloween at all because this is still, all things considered, it's still pretty early. Even though places have been getting things out the last couple of weeks, uh, it's still early, like as far as like if you're comparing it to other years, this is pretty early. So it's okay if they're not getting new stuff out every day, but I was hoping, you know. <laughs> We're gonna go check. I, I almost always say Crate and Barrel, and it's clearly not Crate and Barrel. Cracker Barrel, and if they don't have Halloween at the one out here, then um, I've seen other people post, and their cra Cracker Barrels have Halloween out. Uh, so if my if, so if mine doesn't have anything, definitely still check your local Cracker Barrel and see if they have Halloween out. But we're gonna go look, and worst case scenario, we'll get some candy 
well we're at Cracker Barrel because I love trying you know you know and it is actually really appropriate that we <laughs> we end up trying a bunch of candy when we're out Halloween decor hunting because Halloween candy it's all kind of relative right like trick or treat smell my feet give me something good to eat <laughs> Put that on my tombstone, everybody. <laughs> um, but, <laughs> can you imagine? So hopefully there's a little bit of both. We get to see Halloween and try candy, uh, but I do think it's at least worth trying some candy and doing candy reviews <laughs> during Halloween decor hunting. It's only appropriate. Here we go, Cracker Barrel, we're coming for ya. Here we go, we're going in. All right, here we are at the Cracker Barrel. We're going in. We found it. It was there. Mr. Skeleton. We're sweating. Let's turn on the AC. We got a new ghoul in town, everybody. Uh, Dallas is going to be so excited. I didn't even tell him that I saw her. Anyways, I didn't tell him what was in there. Normally I call and I'm like, they have this, 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 and this. But he wanted this blow mold, this witchy blow mold. Uh, like this vintage looking nostalgic looking witch and we saw it online and we passed it up when we ordered the Wraithy witch if you saw my uh, the first Halloween decor hunting video and the haul that I did where I showed her anyways she was there and then she was gone and I was like oh she'll still be there and she wasn't and he was disappointed so I got this as a surprise I mean I love her too but there are a couple of things that like Dallas usually likes what I like. There are a couple of things he picks out that I that I like, but I, like it's not like my must have item. It's not my unicorn item, you know? Um, so I was excited to see her. Dallas is gonna be so excited, uh, but I figured I'd surprise him. We also got some candy, everybody. Before we get into what we saw at, where were we at? Cracker Barrel. Where's my hand sanitizer? The first thing we got, Starburst Sour Gummies. I've never had these in my life. Oh, it's the last time we went to Cracker Barrel, if you watched that Halloween decor hunting video from last year. Um, they had fall candies already out. They had, what, what do they have? Like those little pumpkin, you know, like the candy corn pumpkins. They had, I don't know, a couple like little gummy pumpkins. They didn't have any fall candy in there yet, so we didn't see any of that, so that's why I didn't get it. But I did get these sour Starburst gummies, and my mouth is already watering. And you know I'm going to try the cherry first. Those are so freaking good. Not very sour, but good flavor. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Mmm. I want to try the blue ones. Let's try the blue. It's just so good. They really do have the Starburst flavor, but in gummy. So it's throwing me off. They're so good. All right. I'm gonna try this green. What flavor is that? Watermelon? Oh, that one's really good. Mm. I also got these. Regal Crown Sour Cherry Things. Hard candy. Sounds good to me. I'm gonna let you know if they're sour. I've never had these. They look old school, which I love. Mmm. Tastes good. Oh, it's so good. Mmm. 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 These taste like those cough drops. You know? What are they called? Luthens or... I, <laughs> I don't know. Lathers. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna turn off my camera for a second while I suck on this annoyingly. Okay, last but not least, I got this seriously nostalgic, not like old school nostalgia, not like when I was a kid nostalgia, but when I was a teenager nostalgia, this cream saver situation, hard candy. Okay, these things, when I was a teenager, do you remember the time where these candies were promoted to the extreme. Like you couldn't go anywhere without seeing some sort of advertisement of these. And if there was that one pinball game on the computer, do you remember? If you know, you know. The pinball game and it had the cream saver logo on it. 
I mean, it was promoted freaking everywhere. And I haven't had one of these cream savers since then. Probably since 2000 and, I don't know, 1 or 3 or... I don't remember what year that was. But early 2000s for sure. I don't remember things being as advertised as these were. These were so freaking advertised. Let's try one. I don't know why I got hard candies, so I just sit here and smack my jaws. They're exactly how I remember them. Mm. They taste like the early 2000s. <laughs> mm. 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 Anyways, we saw Halloween at Cracker Barrel and it did not disappoint. We saw where, I don't even know where to start. So there was this whole, like when I walked in, the first thing I saw was a chandelier. It was this chandelier with this kind of sheet over it and these skulls looks like it belongs in a haunted mansion somewhere it also had the lamp post back with the dragon so the dragon lamp post was back this year and what else did they have oh they had this jack-o-lantern lamp post which i saw this one online and dallas and i were unsure whether or not it looked cool or not but in person it's really cool i think they're wanting to kind of follow in the footsteps of Target with their lamppost, but this one is much shorter, like much shorter. They also had a jack-o'-lantern that had kind of like a mean face to him. He wasn't on or anything, but I'm sure he lights up and does all the things. They had some mugs. They had a skull mug. They had a mug that said 100% that witch, I believe. And um, they also had a couple of tumblers. Like one of them had bats all over it. It was purple bats all over it. And there was another one, I think, with skeletons all over it. Uh, a couple of things like that, you know, tumblers, mugs, those types of things. They had a lot of glittery, globy kind of things. Like they had this skull that had glitter, and like a potion bottle or a poison bottle or something that was green and had glitter floating up. They had a lantern that had a skeleton with glitter in it. And was there another lantern? Oh, there was like a carriage with skeletons in it that had glitter floating up and what else did they have like a lot of that kind of stuff with the glittery floaty things inside and then they had their little crystal ball thing back where it's like a it looks like a crystal ball but it's plastic and it has uh it's like swirly inside like has all the swirling magical looking things inside and then is this where i turn no and then they had what else am i missing here they had some salt and pepper shakers various salt and pepper shakers one was a little jack-o-lantern and what was with the jack-o-lantern was it a cat and then they had a sugar skull salt and pepper shaker set and what was the other one was it like a coffin with skulls something like that little salt and pepper shaker set oh man i don't know they had a lot of stuff oh they had the spooky house back this year and it was really cool it had orange accents to it this year and it kind of lights up and the bats project on the wall they also had the ghosty back this year with the swirls that kind of go up. They also had some sugar skull pieces. They had a sugar skull pillow. Some, I think I already mentioned the salt and pepper shakers. They had a mug and I think a little plate. And uh, what else do they have? Oh, a little, what was the little, was it just a figurine that was a sugar skull? And then a pin. They had like a whole little section there that was really cute. Uh, they also had, oh, in the skeleton section they had a uh, like a bowl with a bunch of bones like it looks like a bowl made of bones and uh what else do they have oh i don't even remember they had uh the blow mold the one that i got the witchy blow mold they had the black flock halloween tree i almost said christmas tree but it's a halloween tree with little purple lights on it and uh they had a couple of stuffed animal things uh, cutesy things, little plushy things. They had uh, a Scooby-Doo. They had, oh, what was it? A Snoopy. And then they had a Gremlin. They had little Gizmo, which I was all excited to see Gizmo because if you remember, or if you're new here, welcome to the Spooky family, first of all. But uh, my son, before he was born, when I was pregnant, I called him the little Gremlin in there because we didn't have a name for him yet. And so we called him Little Gremlin. <laughs> but this was Gizmo, to be specific. So, anyways, what am I looking at? What am I doing? Here we go. 
Oh, we're driving. But anyways, anything else I'm missing, I'll show here because there was a lot to see, a lot of cool stuff. A lot of repeats from last year or variations of things. I did not see any of the wraiths or the witchy wraiths or anything like that. So all those were either picked over or they haven't put them out yet. My guess is they've been sold and uh, they probably were sold before they even made it to the floor is my guess. But I did get my Blow Mold Witch, which Dallas will be excited about. And you'll see that in a haul here coming up because I'll put her in the haul. And um, yeah, that's kind of, I thought this guy, for a second I thought there was a guy running without pants on. <laughs> and then my eyes adjusted and I realized he was wearing pants. They're just skin colored, like they're nude <laughs> pants. Lord, that scared me. We're scared, Mr. Skeleton. So anyways, that's it for our weekly Halloween hunting adventures. Thank you for Halloween hunting with us. I hope you had a good time. I had a blast, right, good old Mr. Skeleton? Uh, and we'll see you next week. And anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Say, hey, ghoul, hey, down in the comments because you know we love talking to you. Uh, me and Mr. Skeleton, that is. <laughs> and let me know anything you're seeing down in the comments, anywhere you saw a bunch of Halloween, what you're liking out there, any unicorns you're looking for, like what's your unicorn item this year that you want to get your hands on. Let me know down in the comments. I don't know what just happened to my voice. I kind of like lost it mid-sentence. <laughs> anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.